Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. Today we're in the F-14B Tomcat and we're looking at flat spin recovery. So what is a flat spin? It's where the aircraft departs its flight envelope, plummets down on the plumb, spinning either left or right, and it's going to be upright. If we were upside down, it would be an inverted flat spin. These flat spins are notorious for Tomcats and similar planes of the era and very difficult to recover from. The plane won't stabilize. After falling 15,000 feet, the pilot makes an agonizing decision. He ejects, losing the $50 million airplane. With the Bravo model we've got here, we do have a way of getting out of spin. It doesn't work every time, but most of the time it works. First, we're going to cut the engine opposite to the spin. So if we are in a right flat spin, so we're spinning to the right, then we're going to cut our left engine. That means we're only getting thrust from the right side of the aircraft, which is going to want to push the aircraft to the left in terms of rotation. So that is going to be fighting the spin. As well as that, we're going to rudder, but rudder the same direction of the spin. Now, I've never understood that. It talks about it in the Hornet flight manual, I believe, but we're going to rudder with the spin. And then most importantly of all, we've got to get our nose down. And it's going to be easier if our center of gravity is further forward, but we don't get any control of that. So we're going to full stick forward and try and get the nose down. Once we've managed to get the nose down, we can get both engines back online and full power and try and get some airspeed in the bird. And that's going to lead to a recovery. How long it takes is how good you are at it mixed with a bit of luck, really. Now, if you're in a panic, you may forget, but if you're not in a panic, if you disable the asymmetric thrust limiter here, that's going to allow you to get extra thrust in the engine help you get out of the spin it's not a requirement but if you do remember to do it that is something that will give you an extra chance of getting out of the spin two ways of getting in the spin one aerodynamically and this is the most common way of getting into the spin so if we're finding a target we go over the top in acm airspeed gets too low especially if we've got a boot rudder in then it's very very easy to get in a flat spin like that it can be with an asymmetric engine loss as well although that was more prominent in the a than the b so we're going to go with an aerodynamic induced flat spin okay i'm now in a right spin as you can see it's extremely violent and this is what we mean here but a long, long way to fall. Okay, so we need to think about getting out of this. So we're gonna drop left engine, we're gonna power on right engine, we're gonna boot right rudder, and now let's think about getting the nose down, so forward stick, let's work her down. We may have to oscillate with the plane, so I'm gonna oscillate now. Oh, how about that? Uh, I might have got it, I might have got it, yeah. Nose down and recovered. Uh, pretty happy about that. So. To reiterate, all I did there was I opposite engine to the spin, I rudded into the spin, I nose down, but for fun, let's go and do it again. This time for lower altitude, so there's less chance of recovery. Okay, we're in our spin again, but this time we are dangerously low, so we've got to think about acting fast. So we're going to go power onto the right, power off on the left, we're going to rudder to the right, we're going to get that nose down. Oops, show my controls. Come on, baby. Yeah, I think we're out. Oh, maybe not. Come on. Just, just recovered. That was interesting. So that was a bit more shaky last time. Uh, this time we only had 2,000 feet to spare, but that is, again, the same idea of how we're going to get out of it. I hope that was useful and see you later.